Hello, welcome to this channel Gain Java Knowledge and today in this video we will discuss about Java 8 optional class use cases and how we can use optional class in Java 8 to avoid null pointer exception and optional is a public final class which is used to deal with null pointer exception in Java application and it was introduced in Java 8 and there are different ways to create optional in Java. We can create optional object by using empty method and off method and third is by using off null label and these three are the static methods in optional class. Okay, let's see how to write the code and create optional object. So first here I will create one empty optional object by calling optional dot empty function and here I will assign the statement to local variable and after that if I will print we can see the output will be empty object so here we can see optional empty was printed on console and the second way to create the optional object is by using off method so here I will create one model that is user so here I have created just one model class that is user having contained three parameters id name and ct and here I have generated setter getter method for this model class and now I will go to my optional class so here what I will do I will create one user object and here I will pass id and we can pass any name and here we can pass any city so here I have just provided city name is a null so now I will use its second method to create optional that is off method so here I will use optional dot off and here I will pass user dot get city get city and it will return optional object of string and name of city so when I will run this application it will throw exception run as java application and here we can see java dot lang null pointer exception so how we can handle this exception by using optional class so here if we are sure about object contains value then we should go for off method if we are not sure about value of the object it may be null may null or may not be null then we should go for null label so if i will use here null label function if i will comment this one and here if i will use null label of null label then it will not throw any exception because it will handle the exception because we can open its implementation and here it will check if value is equal to equal to null then it will return empty object and if it contains some value then it will call to off method that we have already used O function it will call off method only when it will contain some value if it is null then it will return empty object so now here I will run this application and will print the output CT so now I will run this one so here we can see the output optional empty object because it contains null value so it's showing optional dot empty object and if I will pass some value here like pkl now I will run this application again so here we can see output is optional pkl so we can not directly access this pkl value if we want to access this pkl value then what we need to do here we just need to call ct.get method so if I will call 
ct.get method this method will just print the pkl this is a string value but sometimes this object is empty then it will throw some error for example if ct contain null value then this function ct.get will throw exception run as java application and here we can see it is not throwing null pointer exception but it is some exception that is java.util no such element exception because no value is present in this object ct.get so before calling ct.get method we just need to call one more method that is also provided by optional class so here i will call ct.optional if ct.optional is present because this function will just return true or false value if this object contains some value then it will return true otherwise it will return false so now as we know it contains null and optional is empty object then it will return false value so if i will run then this statement will not execute sys out so it's just one time that is from here <coughs> so here we can see its implementation is present function value is not equal to null then it will return true if it contains null then it will return false value there are lots of more function that is present in optional class like we can use or else function also so how this function will work we can provide default value if our object contains some null value for example here our object ct contains null value then what we can do here i will just call first i will comment this one this out ct optional ct optional dot or else hyderabad now if i will run this application what will be the output that will be the hyderabad hyd now i will run this application and here you can see the output is hyderabad because our optional ct optional is contains null value means it is empty object ct optional is empty so it is returning hyderabad but if contains some value like pkl then it will return pkl as a output so here we can see the output is pkl if it does not contain any value then it will return or else value and there are few more functions that are provided by optional classes here we can use like sys out if you want to throw our own custom exception or predefined exception then we can also use this optional class like ct optional dot or else throw we can use this function to throw the exception so here we can use our own custom exception or already predefined exception by java provided by java so here i will throw illegal argument exception and here i will provide the message ct name is not found and here we need to use lambda expression so now i will run this application and here we can see it's throwing illegal argument exception ct name is not found so like this we can use or else or or else throw function these are the instance methods provided by optional class and there are 
few more functions like we can use or else get function so here if i will just print ct optional dot map function is also available inside our class so map that is string colon colon to uppercase and if it is not present or object is not present then we will get some default value default ct name here we will use lambda expression so if ct optional object is not present it is empty then it will return default ct name if it contains some value then it will be converted automatically into uppercase so now i will run this application and here we can see the output that is default ct so if it contains some value then it will be automatically converted into uppercase run as java application so here we can see the output in uppercase so like this there are multiple ways to use optional class in our code and these are the three ways to create optional object and thanks for watching this video